So I stirred something up the other day when I made the claim uh, about Matthew 24, 5, where Jesus is saying um, that many would come in his name saying, I am Christ, and deceive many. And... Uh, from the consciousness and perspective that I have now, the understanding that I have now, I interpreted that to mean for the many to be the Christians that would come and say that Jesus is the Christ. Right? Many would come in my name saying, I am the Christ. If you hear it, if you hear Jesus speaking this, Many shall come in my name saying, I am the Christ. I, Jesus, am the Christ. Right? Of course, we don't know where the punctuation goes in the, in the original text. But the reason why this makes sense is, first of all, Jesus never claimed to be the only Son of God. Never, ever. In fact, when he was confronted by the Pharisees um, who wanted to stone him because, and this was their accusation, because you being a man make yourself God, that's why we want to stone you. Jesus countered the accusation with Psalm 82, 6, in that he says, uh, Have I not said... All of you are gods, and all of you are the offspring of the Most High. So he countered this by saying, All of us are the very same thing that he was claiming for himself. In particular, when he said, I and the Father are one. And when he said to Philip, Philip, have I been with you for so long? And yet, you have not seen the Father? Right? He wasn't saying that he exclusively was God, that he exclusively was the express image of God. But in that time, this consciousness that is present upon the earth now was not there, and certainly not in those who translated the Bible. So we have this very strong language that makes Jesus the exclusive son and image of God, which does not fit with the rest of the Bible, with the rest of the context, because if Jesus indeed is the only, the one and only son of God, then the manifestation of the sons of God cannot take place because those sons of God don't exist, right? The exclusivity of handing Jesus the divinity, the sole divinity, cancels out the possibility of the sons of God manifesting in the earth. That very thing that all of creation is groaning for and wants to be delivered into. Right? So Jesus cannot be the only Son of God. He cannot be the only one to say, I and the Father are one, meaning I am God. That's not what he meant. He expressed, it's a funny kind of way of saying it, but he expressed that God is all, and all is God. This grass is God. This dog is God. God is all of creation. Right? It isn't just one thing or just one man that appeared in history. God is everything, and everything is God. 
Jesus understood this. That's why he could say, I am, I and the Father are one. I am that. Right? But you can say the same thing. Because you too are, I and the Father are one. You are that too. Right? So the way scripture has been interpreted and translated to this exclusiveness of Jesus makes humanity and creation irredeemable. Because we have to have the same access. We have to be able to access our divinity in order to redeem ourselves from the earth, to redeem ourselves from the identity of being flesh and blood only. This is important. This is imperative. Um, there's another passage in, Bible that, in the Bible that's been mistranslated, and it's, it goes like this. If you do not know that I am he, you shall die in your sins. Jesus was, again, not referring to himself because the little word he has been added in. Jesus, in the original, was saying, if you don't know I am, you're going to miss the mark. Meaning, if you don't know your I amness, if you don't know your divinity, you're going to die in your sin. You're going to die in your misidentification as a mere human, as a mere mortal. Right? When you realize and self-realize as I am the divine, you lose your mortality. You lose your identity as a mortal. Because now... You are God having a human experience. You see the difference? If you do not know I am, speaking of you, you are, I am, you will die in your misidentification as a mere mortal. You are divine. Just as Jesus was divine. He is no more. He is no more, no higher than you are. Okay? So I hope this helps today. Furthering consciousness. Expanding consciousness. I want to expand your consciousness beyond that of a mere human mortal. You are divine. You and the Father are one. You and the Father are the same. You are divine. You are God.